Welcome to Real Estate Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Germany, housing crisis hits university students hard. America's downtowns are empty. Fixing them will be expensive. Hong Kong Housing Authority must act now to end its flagrant discrimination. Tenants forced to consider leaving coastal towns as rent rises hit severe crisis levels. Is it a bad time to be a property investor? These landlords think so, and they're selling up. Germany, housing crisis hits university students hard. Deutsche Welle. Germany is facing a severe shortage of affordable housing for students, with tens of thousands of undergraduates and postgraduates struggling to find accommodation. A study earlier this year revealed a lack of more than 700,000 apartments in the country, with rents rising rapidly. Munich students are paying an average of 720 euros, $760, a month for accommodation, while in Berlin the cost of renting a room in a shared apartment has doubled in the past decade to 650 euros. The Federal Student Loans and Grants Scheme provides 360 euros for accommodation. The German government has responded to the crisis by announcing a 500 million euros, $530 million, subsidy in 2023 to provide affordable accommodation for students, trainees, and apprentices. However, with the subsidy not due until 2023, the current shortfall is unlikely to be addressed. We fear that we are heading towards a two-class society with richer people who can afford to study wherever they want and who can afford accommodation, and then the others who can't, said Stefan Grob, Vice Secretary General of the German Student Association. America's downtowns are empty. Fixing them will be expensive. Wall Street Journal. Cities across the U.S. are looking to transform their downtown office districts into vibrant neighborhoods as remote work changes the dynamics of urban centers. The decline in foot traffic and the closure of shops and restaurants is leading to a loss of residents, businesses, and tax revenue in some cities, putting them on a downward spiral. Experts say that American downtowns are facing the biggest urban makeover in 50 years, which will take years and cost billions of dollars to complete. The goal is to create busy neighborhoods where people live, work, raise families, and find entertainment, in order to reinvent downtowns around the country. Cities such as Minneapolis and Cincinnati are offering tax breaks to convert offices to apartments in an effort to attract more people to live downtown. Other initiatives include pedestrian-only zones, outdoor seating for restaurants, and the development of attractions such as the High Line in New York City's Meatpacking District. The challenge lies in converting office buildings into apartments, as many of them were designed for the 9-to-5 office economy and do not easily accommodate family life. Developers face obstacles such as high prices, a lack of suitable buildings, and the need to demolish structures that cannot be repurposed. The transformation of downtowns is a long and costly process that will require time, investment, and creativity. Developers and city officials will need to reimagine downtown areas and create spaces that are appealing to people beyond the traditional workweek. Despite the challenges, the revitalization of downtowns is seen as necessary to ensure the survival and future success of these urban centers. Hong Kong Housing Authority must act now to end its flagrant discrimination. SCMP Opinion The Court of Appeal in Hong Kong has ruled that restrictions preventing same-sex couples married overseas from sharing public housing and jointly occupying subsidized homeownership scheme, HOS, flats are discriminatory and unlawful. Currently, same-sex couples are blocked from applying to live together in public housing and can only apply as individuals. The court ruled that same-sex couples married overseas are entitled to equal treatment when seeking access to housing, and the housing authority's argument that equal access would limit the availability of public resources to heterosexual couples was dismissed. Tenants forced to consider leaving coastal towns as rent rises hit severe crisis levels. ABC. Rent prices in southeast Queensland, particularly in tourist hotspot Noosa, have been increasing dramatically. The latest rental pain index by property research firm Suburb Trends found that some Sunshine Coast residents are spending up to 60% of their income on rent. The average rent in Noosa is now over $1,500 per week, up from around $1,300 last year. The report also found that rents in nearby suburbs rose by around 20%. Experts warn that these steep rent increases are causing a severe crisis in the region, with tenants being forced to leave for more affordable areas. Is it a bad time to be a property investor? These landlords think so, and they're selling up. ABC. Property investors in Australia are selling up due to rising taxes, changing tenancy laws and increasing interest rates, according to a recent survey by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia, PIPA. The study found that many landlords are selling their properties and a significant percentage plan to never invest in property again. 
A separate study by the Australian Housing and Urban Research Institute found that a booming market has also led to property owners selling. However, both research groups have warned that this trend is having a negative impact on tenants. Many landlords feel that they no longer have control over their properties due to new regulations, resulting in increased costs. The survey revealed that rising taxes and fees, followed by tenancy legislation changes and rising loan costs, are the main reasons for landlords selling up. The exodus of landlords is having a detrimental effect on tenants, with fewer properties being purchased by investors and properties being removed from the rental market. Homebuyers and owners get a lending boost from potential rental units on their properties. Yahoo! Lenders can count 75% of estimated rental income from accessory dwelling units, or ADUs, as qualifying income when underwriting a mortgage backed by the Federal Housing Administration, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development announced this week. The new provision also allows 50% of the estimated rental income for a to-be-built ADU to qualify for a mortgage under the FHA's renovation home loan. At European art fairs, the rich are leery to buy on credit. Bloomberg. London's Freeze Art Fair saw a drop in sales of 20% from last year, while the rumor mill was busy touting the French Art Fair Paris Plus Par Art Basel as an exciting event. Galleries reported solid sales and collectors were left disappointed by not being given access to half a million dollar artworks. Some collectors were happy to score artworks for $300,000. According to Bloomberg, the art market for young artists is getting decimated. The report states that prices for young artists have risen across the board and now collectors are pushing back. Collectors are now less likely to buy art on a whim, if an artwork costs $150,000, it had better be seriously good, and this is a problem for young artists who are still experimenting and developing their style. The report cites Mark Rothko's retrospective at the Paris Foundation Louis Vuitton as an example of why it is important to give artists time to develop their style. The housing's other threat to the economy. Wall Street Journal. The U.S. housing market is in a dire state, with existing home sales falling significantly in September due to rising mortgage rates. The shortage of homes on the market and the lack of affordability has resulted in homeowners being reluctant to sell, hindering economic growth. The booming market for new homes has also been affected, with skyrocketing prices that have outpaced inflation. The housing crisis is causing people to miss out on job opportunities and is stifling GDP growth as a result. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Six reporting from the Six Degrees World, bringing you the latest news from around the globe. Today, we discussed the housing crisis in Germany, the transformation of downtowns in the US, the discrimination against same-sex couples in Hong Kong, the severe rental crisis in southeast Queensland, the exodus of property investors in Australia, the lending boost for home buyers and owners in the US, the state of the art market and its impact on young artists, and the dire state of the US housing market. Let's start with Germany, where the shortage of affordable housing for students has reached a critical point. Tens of thousands of students are struggling to find accommodation, with rent skyrocketing. The German government has responded by announcing a subsidy in 2023, but unfortunately, it won't address the current shortfall. This has raised concerns about a two-class society, where only the wealthy can afford to study and have suitable accommodation. Meanwhile, in the US, downtowns are feeling the effects of remote work and are looking to transform into vibrant neighborhoods. This urban makeover will take years and billions of dollars to complete, but it is seen as necessary for the survival and future success of these cities. In Hong Kong, the Court of Appeal has ruled that restrictions preventing same-sex couples from sharing public housing are discriminatory and unlawful. This is a step forward in ensuring equal treatment and access to housing for all couples. Moving to Australia, the rental crisis in southeast Queensland is reaching severe levels, with tenants spending up to 60% of their income on rent. This has forced many to leave for more affordable areas, creating a crisis in the region. In the US, property investors are selling up due to rising taxes, changing tenancy laws, and increasing interest rates. This trend is having a negative impact on tenants, with fewer properties available for rent. On a positive note, lenders in the US can now count estimated rental income from accessory dwelling units as qualifying income when underwriting a mortgage, providing a lending boost for home buyers and owners. Shifting gears to the art market, we see that the market for young artists is facing challenges. Prices for young artists have risen, and collectors are becoming more cautious, demanding artworks of exceptional quality. This is a concern for young artists who are still experimenting and developing their style. Lastly, the U.S. housing market is facing a dire situation. Existing home sales have fallen, and the shortage of homes on the market is hindering economic growth. This is causing people to miss out on job opportunities and stifling GDP growth. 
In conclusion, these news stories highlight the various housing challenges faced by different countries. From the shortage of affordable housing for students in Germany to the transformation of downtowns in the U.S., and the discrimination against same-sex couples in Hong Kong, it is clear that housing is a critical issue worldwide. The rental crisis in southeast Queensland, the exodus of property investors in Australia, and the dire state of the U.S. housing market further emphasize the need for action. These challenges require creative solutions and investment to ensure a brighter future for all. And let's not forget the art market, where young artists are struggling to find their place in a market that demands instant excellence. It's a tough world out there, but together, we can work towards solutions that benefit everyone. Now, over to you, my dear viewers. What are your thoughts on these housing issues? Do you have any ideas or solutions to share? Let's discuss. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.